Hi everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and today I'm going to be playing The Renegade live, so to say. That's right, I'm not going to cherry pick my best games for you. I want to give you an idea, uh, just a raw idea, of what the Tier 8 Premium American Heavy Tank is all about. We're going to see how I can perform in The Renegade under the gun, so to say. We're going to have to see whether I'm going to come out of it dead or alive. But before that, i got a few announcements to make. Firstly, do you see this number in the middle of your screen? Thank you so much, YouTube. 600,000 subscribers. Do you know what? I never showed you this, but all of those years ago, I think it was back in 2014, I did manage to get that 100,000 subscriber plaque, and I hang it now in this house right next to the door. So every time I leave the room, I... I recognize just how much of a of a big part you've all been in my life over the over goodness gracious the last six years now where the YouTube channel is going to be entering into its sixth or seventh year. I'm amazed that it continues to grow despite the decline in popularity over the game that it's based on, at least for now, because I'm, I'm still enjoying World of Tanks. And I guess the next time I'm going to be getting one of those plaques, if we ever get to a million, right? Uh, don't know. Don't know if that's ever going to happen. Maybe I'm going to be about 50 or 60 years old. Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks 2. We're going to be interesting in, in, I can't even speak because we're going to be implementing tier 13 tanks into the game. Yeah, maybe, possibly. Is that what it's going to be like? Going to have to find out. So there are other awesome things that you guys and girls are going to get to enjoy before I guess I'm 50, right? And that is tomorrow. Who, who misses me playing with Jingles? Who misses me playing with the one and only, the mighty Jingles? My my best of buds. I hope that didn't just demonetize my channel. Maybe Jingles owns that music and he's going to claim all of the ad revenue off this video. Possibly. Go for it, Paul. Definitely. Anyway, as I digress, what I'm trying to say is I'm finally going to get to play with Jingles again tomorrow. It's the Tog Apocalypse. And you know what? I was going to do my own dedicated video to it, but really, Jingles just did it best. So go and check out his video. I'll try and link it in the description below. And if I don't, just Google the Tog Apocalypse or the Tog Apocalypse, I guess. Um, and goodness, yeah, he knows how to make a cinematic trailer. Yeah. So what's going to happen tomorrow for the Tog Apocalypse? And firstly, what is it? Well, I'm going to be playing with Jingles, so immediately, this is the first time we've played for three years. It's the Dream Team is back on stream, baby! So it's going to be a, a real good time, you know? Just me and Paul, I just... Every time I've ever had interactions with that man, they've always been just so positive. I love him to pieces. Anyway, hold on, this isn't meant to be a video where I'm, like, being nice about him. Hold on, wait a minute, I take that back. Maybe I'm going to have to edit that out, or maybe I'm just going to have to go with it anyway. I'm just really looking forward to playing again. So what do you all need to know? Well, it's going to be live on twitch.tv forward slash quickie baby tomorrow. I'm going to be starting at five. I think Jingles is going to be coming at about six and the actual tog hour will be seven. That is UK time. Those are UK times I'm giving you. So you're going to have to adjust them to wherever you live in the world. But be known that it's probably going to be very early in the morning tomorrow at like 9 a.m. If you're living West Coast America, it's probably going to be in the afternoon, early afternoon of your East Coast America. And I think you should come along not only because you're going to get to see me and Jingles be useless on the battlefield together, but because we're giving away. It's, it's, it's between 10 and 20,000 TOG rental codes. It will give you a TOG on your account. I'm guaranteeing that the codes will work on the EU and the NA server. I haven't quite tested them for the Asia server yet, but I know they're going to work for EU and NA. And it's going to give you a TOG rental for a day. The TOG should come with a 100% crew. And unless mistakes are made, it will also come with an inscription and an emblem. And if you can try and guess which ones they're going to be, then let me know in the comments down below. And the idea is that then we've given out all of these TOGs that we're going to play with you all, the community. We're all going to sign up at the same time together to try and create TOG mayhem. As many TOGs in a single game of World of Tanks as possible. I did it at Tank Fest, but come on, it wasn't the same. I have to have Jingles there, right? How can I organize a TOG event without actually having Jingles there as well, who is pretty much the TOG Lord? So as I wrote in his comment, E50M is weak incorporated. Can't wait to get back in TOGs with Jingles. The Dream Team is back, baby, tomorrow for one day only. So don't miss it. The next thing that I want to announce is that my charity marathon stream will return. I'm going to announce the date. It's going to be Thursday, the 19th of December. And if you didn't know, no, as a community, we've been raising money for cancer research and special effect since 2013. And I'll, I'll say the total in dollars, it's roughly about $150,000, although I'm sure the, the YouTube 
uh, monsters will in the comments down below we'll add it all up and work it out exactly this is one of the things that i'm most proud of in my life and most proud of in the the, the, the community has been able to achieve this isn't me this isn't my money directly i gave 500 pounds last year because of all those filthy wargaming loot boxes that i opened up and as i said i was going to donate at least the cost and i ended up kind of like doubling or tripling it but how could i say no right so thank you so much and hopefully i'll see all of you there on thursday the 19th of december i'm going to be streaming for 12 hours so you've got no excuse you can't be working for 12 hours a day right unless you're making daily youtube videos for the last month and the next month as well i'm only joking i'm really enjoying it actually and then what's well, talk about enjoying the final announcement is i've decided boys and girls wanted dead or alive I'm going to try and do this challenge. It's going to take me about 48 hours over the next 10 days, and I'm going to do it on my free-to-play account. Now, for all of you who don't know, for some reason, if you're new to the channel or you just don't know, last year I got very frustrated with World of Tanks, uh, how it was treating the newer players. And so I went and started a brand new account, which I would spend absolutely no money on to try and see what the game is like for for the regular player, right? Not the person who's who's got a credit card or somebody like me who's become uh, close to wargaming and so they give me all the fancy tanks on my account. I want to play it like everybody does. And so that's why the account spawned. I learned a hell of a lot last year. It went into my Is World of Tanks Dying video with my recommendations as to what wargaming could do in the early game. But that's beside the point. All you really need to know is that I am going to be trying once again, although I better keep my voice down because if Tanya hears, she's going to she's gonna get me again. You know, I'm going to be on the sofa, maybe, possibly. So I, I haven't told my wife that I'm going to be playing World of Tanks for 50 hours over the next 10 days. What could possibly go wrong, right? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do it. And hopefully I want all of you to try and Join me either on social media. Give me a bit of a pep talk. Just let me know in the in the YouTube comments. Just give me a bit of motivation to be able to get there. Or at least just rub it in my face as to the stupidity that I'm going to have to demonstrate over the next 10 days. But, you know, just to see what I would be getting on my free-to-play account, why don't I go and play the Renegade on my, on my main account, on my pay-to-win account when we think about it, and um, just jump straight in. So literally, I'm going to do no cuts so you can see that this is the first game that I have played in the Renegade. Literally, it is. This will be the very first. There you go. It's the first game. So I can't lie to you. I can't, like, hide the cut. We're just going to go straight into it. Whoa! Okay. So not bad matchmaking here on Erlenberg. All right. So first 30 seconds of the game. This is usually something that you just... I'm here twiddling my thumbs. Maybe I'm finishing a snack. I don't know. Having a drink thinking about what I'm going to say in the video, but this is live. I hope I'm recording. Yes, I'm recording. That's a good sign. Make sure you're recording a YouTube video when you're actually doing it. That's great. All right, so we're playing in the Renegade. The first 30 seconds are the most important because you've got to formulate a plan. All right, so the Renegade. It's got a big old cupola on top. It's got some meaty armor and it's got a tasty gun. I could go down three flanks. I could try and push down here. I could try and push through the town or I could try and push down the west. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to go and try and push the Renegade either through the town or through the west, depending on how fast this tank is. It's not the slowest of heavies. It's actually pretty a quick heavy, so that should be nice. Hopefully I don't drown anybody on the bridge. Good. We're not going to have any disasters here. That's good. So it's the Coppola that I'm really worried about on top of this tank. I really want to get a vibe in this gameplay as to how bad the Coppola is. I just realized this is not a fast tank. I can't really make my way down the west. I wanted to, though. I wanted to try and push down here. Instead, I'm going to go into the town. One thing that's interesting as well is immediately we see two of their more dangerous heavy tanks, the KB-4 and the Patriot, making their way down the west. So maybe I can quickly aim through here and I can snap a shot into the Patriot. No, it's not going to happen. All right. Instead, let's stay on target. Let's focus up. I'm going to ask this AMX to come with me. Do you know what? I don't think the enemy team realizes that this is actually a... I don't think the enemy team realizes that this is a... Wow, he angled his tank well there. I don't think the enemy team realizes this is an assault game. Wow, he can't actually depress his gun. Poor lad. Oh, is that a TS-5? That's not what you want to have shooting you in the side, let me tell you. Hopefully I can bounce this TS-5. TS-5 fire? The TS-5 can't actually get me. 
Wow, the penetration on this main gun isn't too bad. What is it? 226? It's okay, I'll take that. Oh, please. Oh, baby! Easy game! Easy life! Easy money! Oh, God. Wow. This penetration's working out well. Why am I not gold noobing? Well, I guess I am gold noobing. Yeah, I bounced him off the side of my tank. Is he going to overangle? I'm going to have to go for his cupola. Lower plate, actually. Whoa, that accuracy. Rearing its ugly head. I'm going to load the gold now. I'm going to try and bounce this guy off my side armor once again. I'm going to go for his cupola now. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, look at that KV-4. We've got synergy. I'm hiding his lower plate. Oh, that TS-5. He can't take more than one shell and then I'll fire a high explosive round at him if I low roll. Okay, so here's the plan. One premium round. Low roll. Now HE. Holy crap, that was a low roll. Oh, wait a minute. This has got 360 alpha, hasn't it? Not 400. <gasps> We're finding out new things about the tank as we go along constantly. All right, let's aim at this TS-5. Remember, I'm firing HE. I'm going to press my one key once so that I can load an, H, uh, an a, uh, AP shell after this one. Notice we can't get the Progetto. Advance towards the TS-5. Get a stun. Is it worth healing? Probably not. I don't need to shoot right now, and I don't need to reload. Remember that when you're stunned, that... that ooh. I'd rather you than me, mate. Rather you than me, mate. That didn't do what I wanted it to do, did it? This poor KB4, I should really take the hit for him. Oh. Ah! Come on, KB4. There you go. There you go, there's synergy. That's synergy. I really didn't expect to bounce that guy, but we did. I'll take it. Not the best aim time, not the worst. Hold on, did I just not kill that tiger too? That was weird. Do you think there's another tank next to him? That was really bizarre. I, I, I thought the shell went directly towards him. Oh, boys, this is bad. Okay, I've got to be careful here because I can get shot in the side really badly. Um, this is actually a really interesting fight. I'm against a T-34. That's a really interesting fight because I've got 360 alpha. So if I can shoot him twice for every time he shoots me, I win. But if he shoots me once... Nice, I just covered the track for my KV-4. Um, if he shoots me once for every time I shoot him, then it'll be bad. I'm going to ask this KV-4 to fall back. Listen to me, KV-4. We don't want to go and fight that guy while they're piercing our flanks. I'm going to tell the KV-4 to fall back again. That's right, because the Udez is trying to flank us. That's exactly what I was worried about. Hey, I'm facing you, mate. Oh, that was such a stupid shot. I fired at his upper plate like a donkey. i got to go after this guy, though. Wow, that reload was way longer than I thought it would be. Nice, I bounced him. Yag Panther's trying to push me from behind. I gotta go after this guy. Nice! Double team, please fall back, my friend. The Yag Panther's coming after me. Oh, this is gonna be tense. This could be tense. Oh no! I've got to get out of this alleyway. This is tense now. Hmm, let's think about this one. So I've got an EBR spotting me out. i got a spaghetti trying to ridgeline play me. Maybe I can get him through the wall there. That EBR keeps doing his little whizzy whiz stuff. Our Progetto's low on health over there. Five minutes left. It's so tense. Oh no, the Patriot's getting above me. Got to be careful. Pantera could shoot me in the side. Progetto could shoot me from the front. I need this guy to make a play. There's the Pantera. Yag Panther coming behind. I need some help. T-34. Advancing. I've got to make a play on this guy. There we go. That's perfect. Now I can shoot him twice. Oh, why did I have to low roll? Lover, save me! No! Lover didn't shoot him! Oh! Feels bad, man. Where was my Lover looking? He could have hit the T-34 to the side, but I guess he's got a Yag Panther in front of him. Oh! Can you believe it? If we'd rolled higher against the T-34B. So that was a really interesting fight. Do you know why it was an interesting fight? Well, because 
The whole point of the Renegade is that it has a pretty darn good rate of fire. Its reload is actually incredible for 360 alpha damage. But fighting the T-34 Black Edition on the enemy team, he's got that alpha, right? He's got the alpha, he's got the penetration. But his alpha's only 40 more than mine. But if we trade one for one, then he wins the engagement. However, if I can manage to fire multiple times for every time that he fires, then we're actually going to do pretty darn well. Shame that the, the TS-5 didn't get a bit more involved, but he has picked up four kills. There's a good chance that this TS-5 and the Lover could still do this. The EBR is dead. The Tiger II is dead on the eastern flank. That Progetto. I'm, I think this Lover could do this. Come on, baby! Oh my word, look at this. Okay, Des... Des... Des Getty. Des Getty in his lava with a, a happy face on the front of his vehicle. I like it. I like that little emblem. That's a pretty cool clan logo. I'm not sure if they own the copyright to that, but that's that's fine, you know. All's free and well. So Des Getty in his lava. What's he going to do here? So he's got a Pantera who is at about 800 health. I think... I think Pantera was 800 HP. So I'm just going to tell him, but he's got two minutes. But you only got two minutes, mate. Oi, oi, oi. Maybe if you both cap. If you both... Both cap? I don't know. Possibly. I think they. I think their only play right now is that they both cap. So I'm going to ask the TS5 to try and make a push. See if the TS5 will push. Like, I, I don't think the lover... The lover can't reach the cap circle. Remember, he needs 1 minute and 40 seconds to be able to actually cap out. And he doesn't have that. He's only got 150. So his only chance now is to kill all of the tanks because his TS-5 friend is... Well, he's he's playing for fun. Let's just say it like that. Whereas this lover, he's playing to win. He's playing to win, but I don't think he can win. I don't think it's going to be possible for him with the TS-5 literally just chilling in the gap. The sirens have gone off. Maybe when the, the, the ticky tock starts going, then maybe then the, the TS-5 is going to be able to, to push out. So Lerva's just going to just try and pick up some kills here at the end of the game, I guess. Bit of a shame for me. Oh, there you go. Get the biggie wig. Oh, oh. Ah. Well, maybe there's a tiny chance now. Oh, no. All right, GG. Well played, enemy team. They got us good. So... Yeah, I wanted to go and hold that western flank. That western flank would have been oh so important. This tank, I felt like it was a little too slow to be able to go there. If I'd been in a medium tank or some faster heavy, I possibly could have done that. I think I had to try and cut my way through the town. And I think that if I hadn't joined the town, then I wouldn't have been able to win the game. So that's actually a first class medal. We got a high caliber and we actually did 4,200 damage there. Meaning that I actually blind fired the Panther with that miss on the Tiger 2, which confused me so much. So we did pretty much double what anyone else was able to do. That Lerva had a good game though. It was a pleasure to play with you. Good communication skills with the Lerva as well. All right, not a bad start. Um, I really did feel that the top speed limit of this tank... Hold on, it's 45. Maybe I should have had the instincts to go down that western flank. Okay, probably a bad decision there by me to make my way through the middle. But, I mean, 4,000 damage isn't too bad for the first game you have in a tier 8. All right, let's move on. Just really worried about that Coppola. And I was thinking about getting on ridge lines was going to be a little bit awkward. But with 10 degrees of gun depression, what are you going to do? All right. Next up. Rampage. Round 2. I'm not going to cut this one either. Possibly. Maybe. So what do I think all in all about this vehicle? Well, I've, I've, I've kind of given you a preview of it already. I, I, I previewed it. I played it at uh, in San Diego at TwitchCon this year. I streamed it, and it was on this very map that we actually had the killer game. Oh, man, can you imagine shooting the Super Hellcats in this tank? Those things are going to be delicious. What's the pre? What's the high explosive penetration of this tank? 53 with 440 alpha? Whew, that's going to two-shot a Super Hellcat if I can do that. All right, real interesting round here. Do you see how it spawned me out towards the east? Seems to really want me to make my way down that eastern flank. But if I don't go and fight the heavies in the western flank, I'm almost guaranteeing that my team is going to die. However, I just got a feeling that I can push down this flank. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go and be the renegade of the eastern flank. And then i got to flank the heavies at the end and demolish them. That sounds good. I mean, it's going to take me like 30 seconds to drive over there. And that's a, a good chunk of the time that you need. Hopefully my team will come with me. We'll see if anybody wants to come with me. The Super Hellcats will. 
I think I'm going to demolish the Super Hellcats. I think there'll be a bunch of Super Hellcats around here and around here. And I should be able to bounce them fairly reliably unless they hit my weak points. And I just want to go after the enemy team. I want to be aggressive, boys and girls. Talk about being aggressive. Oh, there we go. <sighs> he won't take too many shots like that, that's for sure. Got to watch out for the artillery, though. When you're first spotted... I know where the SPG is, though. Tell my team where the SPG is. What was that that went above me? Is that an IS-3 who went above me? That's actually pretty terrifying. I don't want to have an IS-3 above me. That SP-1C. Oh, I thought that was a hit. Oh, I shot the building on the other side. I couldn't see the building behind the wall. Whoa! Artillery! Shuts down the wheeled light tank. No, sorry. The German light tank at the start of the game. That's beautiful for me. Oh, just over the building. Just a little bit too high. A swing and a miss. A swing and a miss, boys and girls. Oh, there's the Super Hellcat. Goodbye, hit points. Whoops. See what I mean about being this, doing this like aggressive thing down here. I can't fight that IS-3 though. Here's the problem. If I run away from that IS-3, he's going to just kill all of my friends. So do you know what the best play is, I believe? Is to actually slinky my way down here. Maybe I can get a clean shot into his side, actually. Delicious. That was a great result for me. He spotted me though. Now I'm going to push down here and help this Super Hellcat. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to end up in a flanking position for the IS-3, where he has to turn his turret to the side so he can't be effective against these guys. That's the plan. Going to ask this guy to fall back. Don't die, my little Super Hellcat friend! Don't die, my little Super Hellcat friend. I can overmatch his side armor. Oh, Gruscott v. Gates! Mr. Piggywig. Yeah, that's right. Die! He shot me earlier. I shot him last. Good stuff. Ooh, we're going to do a third person shot here. What? What? Maybe I shot into the ridge. I didn't think that one would miss. No, I'm not hitting any of the clutch shots. Oh, no. We'll get there. Oh. Should I shoot the wheeled light tank? Should I shoot the artillery? I don't like the alpha. But it's not that bad because the rate of fire is really good. I should... 50% of the time I kill this guy in a single shot. 100% of the time I'll kill him when somebody hits him before. So there's going to be a Panther 2 in my side. Going to just put a quick cheeky shot. Oh, he's actually aiming at me. Nice play, Panther 2. But I think I have you a little bit out positioned. I think you're a little bit out tanked, my friend. Panther 2's got a really good rate of fire. So does this thing, actually. The Renegade, it's definitely more of an aggressive heavy. Whoa, that was a tight fit for a big boy tank. Tight fit for a big boy tank. Okay, I can't get complacent here. I've still got to try my best. Do you think I'll fire an HE shell after an AP shell into this guy? Hello. Crush him. Yes. Well done, Revelerize. It was a good crush kill. The crush kill was engaged. Alrighty then. So, my first victory in the Renegade on my main account. It was so hard. I'd like to thank my friends, my family, my wife. There we go. Shoot the corner weakness of that tank. Shall I go for the SU? Clearly. Ah, oh, that VK100. Oh, one. He's probably had a really good game. Can you imagine being that chonky tank in a matchup like this? That'd be a very powerful vehicle to have in a matchup like this. So is the Renegade. This is an interesting thing. Oh, no! I hit the trains. Hey, it's somebody else in the cap circle. That means it must be the P-43 inside the cap circle because the SU left. I thought the SU was in the cap circle. But Detective Quacky Baby realizes that the SU is out on the left. So that means that his little friend must be about here. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, why am I team capping? I could have got a top gun here. No, no, no. No, no, no. There's my top gun. Oh, well. It would have been a sixth kill there if we'd picked one up.
Ah, not a bad game. I'll take that. 3,300 damage and 1,000 spotting as well. So, yeah. No, 1,000 tracking, probably. Or maybe it was spotting. Maybe a little bit of spotting on the Super Hellcat. So, yeah, not too bad. We haven't had to meet any Tier 10 tanks again. Consistency today. Look at this. Quacky Baby plays live on YouTube and he gets two high calibers in a row and five kills. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to be playing this account today because I'm going to be doing my main account. So, I might as well boost up a little bit. Credits, boys and girls. Did I fire any gold rounds there? I don't think I did. Are the regular rounds really cheap? They're kind of not. A thousand credits a shot. That's not cheap. That's not cheap by a long shot. Still not a bad game. We killed two artillery. We got a high caliber. We got our first class medal once again. So far, so good for this tank. Um, yeah, there's the first two games, right? Do I think that the tank is now the most OP thing? No, not really. I could be doing this in a Patriot. I got two really nice matchups for this tank. Um, if I was in a Patriot, I think I would have done exactly the same. In fact, if I was in the Patriot, would I have done a little bit better? No, probably not, actually. Nobody's really hit my weak point on top of the tank yet. All right, so third time's the charm. You're just going to get a really long YouTube video today. I am. Um, well, you know, I've given you so many good announcements. Now I'm going to give you some extra gameplay. Hopefully this will be the ace tanker. Maybe, possibly. In armor we trust. All right, so third game in the Renegade. What are we going to do now? I, have I called this thing the Rampage yet, by the way? There's, there's something in my head that's calling this thing the Rampage as well, but that's a whole different thing. I really do like this custom paint job on the tank. I hope that Wargaming allow you to get the custom paint job even if you don't buy it right now and you can buy it later on outside of the bundle. Anyway, let's focus up on what's at hand. Here, I'm assaulting. Where shall I go? Well, clearly I have to go towards the enemy base. What's the best way to get there? Up here, probably. Um, there's multiple ways that I like to try and advance this flank. Here's the thing. You know this corner between the 8 and the 9 line? If I had a third person zoom, I'd go out and I'd go there for you. But I can't do that because this is live, right? How can I prove this is live? Um, I don't know. I, I, I think... Is this me just doing a really cool commentary with my hands on it? I don't know. Is there any way? No, I did it. What am I even going on about? Just focus on what you're doing, you potato. Alright, so, Renegade. On this map... Clearly, what we need to do is we need to make our way up towards north. And then there's this little campy place between the eight and the nine line along the A line. Yeah. Oh, please. I can't play. You're just, just, just stop. Just stop, T29. You're literally stopping me from playing this game for no reason right now, my friend. Just stop turning into me and let me play my game. Okay. Thanks, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, T29. It's not like I need to get there first so I can maybe kill them and advance through the flank. Anyway, as I was saying, 8 and 9, all right? There's this little campy place here, and you've got to watch out for that. Always turn your turret where you think you're going to get shot from, by the way. So we've got to try and dig our opponents out from there, and there's multiple ways to do that. One is to do the classic kind of go into the corner and try and bait them up. If you go into this corner and then you use these bushes, you can sometimes get a couple of ambush shots. You wait for them to try and push, and then you punish them. That can work. The other way of doing it is to literally rush down this slope into the dip and then turn your tank around and engage them from that angle as well. That can work. So I'm hoping that this ISM gets confident and comes up and thinks, haha, little light tank, I have you. But what he's not going to expect, I hope, is that there's a nasty quacky baby who's in position, who's behind the bushes, who can shoot through them, and he might not even get spotted. No, I don't. I, oh, I do. That means artillery's about to zing me. Got to be really careful here because I'm really worried about artillery... Um, but you can't worry about artillery too much. I don't think that guy can see me anymore. He's got a weak point. Oh, there you go, boys and girls. The first shot into the commander's copula. And it's really interesting because, I, I don't know, maybe I'm being mean. Was that the ISM who shot me? Look, the player who's still fairly new to the game with 3,000 games um, would know to shoot this thing up in the top weak point. So it really shows you that it is pretty obvious. And he managed to do that through bushes as well. It's a really nice shot by the ISM on the enemy team. Well played. Good knowledge of weak points. You got me good there, son. All right, so look, they've probably got loads of tank destroyers at the back. But I want to just do something brave. So we're going to play like we are the Renegade. We're going to play like we are the Renegade, boys and girls. Maybe this will work. Maybe it won't work. Maybe it will work. Maybe it won't work. You see what I said about using the top speed limit of this tank to be able to rush down into the dip? Okay, cool. We actually made it. All right. Now we've made it. What we can do is we can turn around and we can dig out all the campers behind us. We've got to watch out that we don't get shot by the TDs. 
two ways to manage to take this flank. One is to go down into the dip, the other is to then dig them out here. We're not going to do the classic fight against the Soviet heavy tank which can side scrape. Instead we're going to rush down. We're going to see if we can finish off this ISM as well. We would have, but we didn't quite manage it. Should we go finish off this Tiger? And then we can push against the TDs? Yeah, sure. Oh. Okay, well this is where I want to use my view range. I don't actually have coated optics on this tank, so this could be really ugly, but we haven't really had an opportunity to test the tank's armor when we're just driving out in the open. Oh, this is bad. Stop in front of the TDs. We've got to shoot them, right? We've got to shoot them. We've got to shoot them. We can't just take the shots from the TDs. Pen the lower plate. Yeah. No probs. Oh, I'm spotted the whole time. We're okay. We're okay. The armor on this vehicle is definitely not holding up as well as I was thinking it might, but it's not too bad. All right, continue to push. Try and think about using cover. Try and use a little bit of the view range of the tank. Spot mom spaghetti out in the open. Punish mom spaghetti. Oh no, I'm only a one shot now. Well, hopefully he's, he's dumped all of his rounds and my friends will punish him. And we get to hurt him a little bit more. So there goes this Progetto. Another bit of spotting. So we're just trying to be at the front, right? This is an aggressive heavy tank. It's not your... It's not your dad's heavy tank. It's an aggr- Oh, that was an awful spoon of a shot. One of the worst shots I've seen. Will this guy be able to hit me in the cupola? Should we see? Go on, you can hit me in the cupola, mate. Oh, we've got to do it. We've got to go- Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Okay, just one more goal, and that is to kill the artillery. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting a high caliber this game, that's for sure. But 3,000 damage and 2,000 spotting is never bad game. How much health does an SU-14-1 have? Probably more than 360. So let's get our HE rounds loaded. How much pen has the HE rounds got? 53? That should be enough to one-shot him, and if we don't, we can fire AP after that. That Super Hellcat's pretty fast, though. He's probably going to find us. Do I think he'll be on the left or the right? Ooh. Ooh ah, 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 ah. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. That's not the way for the thumbnail. No! <laughs> I'm <only> joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm dead serious. I need to, to maximize my time if I'm going to be spending 48 hours streaming to try and get this tank on my free-to-play account while also trying to make a daily YouTube video. It's going to be a tough one, boys and girls. It's going to be a tough one. Ah, oh, another first-class medal. Another high-caliber game. Ah, that was strange. Three high-calibers in a row, boys and girls. Um, all right. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, so, yes, that is the Renegade. Look, I got really lucky with the matchmaking. I didn't meet any tier 9 or tier 10 tanks. This vehicle will struggle against some tier 9 and tier 10 tanks because its armor doesn't really work against them very well. And it does have a big old weak point on top of the tank. Nevertheless, when you've got this kind of rate of fire with this kind of alpha damage, it's not a bad tank. I, I, I've done a full preview on it. Give me a few times to, to play this tank and I'll try and get a review out on it eventually. However, I'm not going to rush the review which is why I thought that this video would be good today. A combination of announcements and also some raw gameplay so you guys and girls can get an idea of how the tank will actually play. If, if you're the quickie baby, I guess, possibly. Anyway, that's it for today. Once again, a massive thank you to you all for 600,000 subs. Hopefully I see all of you tomorrow for the TOG apocalypse that will be hitting the North America and European server. Come along on twitch.tv forward slash quickie baby. We've got, I mean, I only get, this is the first time I'm going to be playing with jingles in three years. Don't miss it. It's going to be tons of fun and it's your best chance you, you've ever had to play with me and jingles at the same time. Apart from that, Charity Marathon stream on Thursday, the 19th, the 19th of December. Please come along and support it. Even if you just come along and watch it. Uh, we've raised $150,000 so far for cancer research and special effect. More about that on the event itself. And also, come along right now on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming pretty much every day. Today I'm going to stream for like 10 hours. Oh, a bit heavy, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I'm going to be streaming for 10 hours today on my free-to-play account to try and get this vehicle, the Renegade. Let's go on a rampage in the Renegade today. And yeah, I'd just like to finish the video. I've said this multiple times, but just boys and girls, thank you very much. Not for 100,000 subs. That was a while ago. Just thank you all very much for just supporting my love of video games. I'm really lucky to be able to do what I do, and I really hope that either I've allowed you all to 
have a little bit of fun over the last six years. Um, just a little bit of fun, or maybe I've, I've saved you a little bit of time or allowed you to invest your money more wisely into the game by letting you know what are the best things to, to purchase or the best premium tanks. Hopefully some of those. I'm really lucky. 600,000 subs. Thank you, boys and girls. Love you all very much. And, and hopefully I'll see you soon with all the content I'm going to be pumping out before we hit 2020.